film critique. One of the things that I really liked about this episode was the fact that there's such a sense of relief when everything comes to the conclusion. And I wanted to know, are you aware of that in acting in the show and, and all the writing and everything that goes into the show? Because for me, it's different than the relief that you feel like when the good guys win. It's, it's really difficult to explain. And I wanted to know if you can kind of speak to that uh, relief that Black people feel when these things that we see in fiction kind of come out differently than they might in real life. I think it's hope, right? You know, we, we see these situations happen on a daily basis and we see them in very badly. And I think it, it speaks to our human nature to want the best outcome always, you know, for all people. Um, in storytelling, we can do that, you know? Um, we, can, we can give you that, that hopeful outcome, whereas you may not get it in the world. Um, in, in terms of me looking at it from a performance perspective, I never played the ending. You know, I play, I play the truth of what's on the page. Um, so, and I try to stay in the moment. With this episode in particular, we were, you know, it, it was very personal. You know, um, I've spoken to Joe about this. Um, I, you know, I, I, I had, it brought back really vivid images as a child and, and my uncle coming home, he'd had a run in with the law and he was bruised and battered. And I remember that one instance completely changing his perspective on the world. You know, it completely changed him and it completely affected, you know, not only him, but his kids and, and all of us that were around him. And it was something he wore with all of his life, you know, in storytelling, you know, we can take that situation and go, well, what if this would have changed, then this outcome would have changed. Because all of these things, as Joe said, is there are ripple effects, you know, like one thing affects the next thing, affects the next thing and, and so on and so on. And so we continue to see these cycles perpetuate themselves based on decisions that we continue to make. So in storytelling, we can say, you know what? Well, if we do this this way, if we approach it this way, we may get to that hopeful outcome. And so in doing that and telling these stories, you know, hopefully we inspire more empathy so that we will eventually get to that outcome. To touch upon the, just the relief I think you're feeling like our job on the show is to highlight social injustice. And, you know, we, I, I feel we do a, a really good job of that. You know, we want to shine a light, you know, we can't always solve the problem, but we want to shine a light on it and bring it. Hey, if you're not aware of this, this is how people feel. This is what people are going through. You know, like, Doc, uh, like Tori said, um, create empathy, but I feel like you felt that relief in this episode because it was so close to when I got so many calls and social media, you know, everyone was triggered when they saw this, you know, because either they've been through it, you know, I've been through it, Tori's been through it, or they know someone close to them who's been through it. You, you'd be hard pressed to find, you know, someone black in America who doesn't know someone this has happened to. And so I think, you know, it resonated. And that's the relief you're feeling when, you know, when Dante, you know, kills the officer at the end, you, that's years and years of pent up frustration, you know, where, okay, he gets to defend himself and he goes as far as he does because there's so much frustration. And that was the relief. Like we wish, you know, <laughs> it could have gone the other way very easily. So, and that's the story that we're used to seeing. So the relief is okay. He was okay. Yes, very much. Thank you. Exactly. Hi again. Um, I wanted to know, can you talk a bit about having uh, Jada Pinkett on the show and also um, the importance of having these powerful characters, um, you know, played by Queen Latifah, Tori, um, all of that on, on, um, on movies and television, especially right now? Well, I was so upset because I didn't get to work with her. You know, I've been a fan of, of, you know, Jada and her and Queen together going back to the days of Set It Off, like, which was a movie that inspired me. Um, their relationship and their own screen chemistry is, is, is incredible. So I, I did, I love the episode. And I thought that episode was particularly, it was really um, important because of the whole connection to, um, to Black Wall Street, you know, and reclaiming what's yours. Um, and so, you know, so I, the episode, I, I, I'm a fan of the show, like I'm on the show, but I'm also a fan of the show. 
Um, and so when we get to bring in people like, you know, Jada and, uh, you know, Rick Ross came, um, you know, for an episode. We had Ron Canada in this particular episode, um, oh, who, who is amazing. And I was an extra 25 years ago in a movie that Ron Canada was in. And I went up to him and I asked him, how do you become an actor? And he said, you should be reading a play a week. And so I started reading a play a week and then I would read two plays a week and then three plays a week and then... And so when I saw his name pop up on the call sheet, I was like, oh, I gotta go see him. I gotta go see him. So he was working shooting this scene, which is a wonderful scene because he's an incredible actor. And, uh, and after he finished the scene, you know, I went to see him and I said, do you remember me? I said, I read those plays. And he put this huge smile on his face and he hugged me and then he just started tearing up and then I started tearing up. And it was just one of those full circle moments that this show continues to like bring about where you just, you run into so many incredible, incredible people who have been in this business, who have actually, you know, some of the reasons why we're able to do these types of stories now, we keep bringing these people in. We have, you know, you look at Lorraine Toussaint, you know, like just such a body of work and just such a powerhouse actor, you know, like I, I just feel so blessed to be able to be a part of this cast and be on this show. I'm sorry, I segued into multiple things. <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> no, um, just to, you know, to piggyback on that, representation matters, you know. Um, one, we have an opportunity on the show, you know, you know, Queen Latifah, her, you know, her career is, spans just so much that, you know, her and Jada are like really, really good friends. And when we got the opportunity to bring her on, it was, you know, it was a hard deal to make because Jada's a little busy, you know, but, you know, we got it done and she came in and crushed it. And I think that chemistry that they have in real life showed on screen, you know, it was fun, but to have all these amazing women, you know, you know, with the badassery and kicking ass, you know, uh, Queen Jada, Lisa on the show, like they handled that. I think it's important to show that and showcase that. And, you know, we want to keep doing it. You know, our job is to understand, but we want to keep pushing. We want to keep going to the edge, pushing that envelope and just making it more dynamic, more dynamic. And I'm looking forward to pushing it even further uh, coming up. You know, they they were, that, that chemistry on screen was amazing, amazing to watch. And it was fun. And they, they had a good time doing it. And I'm sorry you couldn't see it, Tori. You couldn't be there. Yeah, no, no. I saw it on screen. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah. Great, thank you. Yes, and I was actually an extra also on uh, one of Queen Latifah's movies when I was younger. And she just has like this energy. She was working to keep everybody awake and upbeat. And it was, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I, I love hearing all of this. It's great. She, she, still, she makes everybody better. Yeah. She really did. There's like very few people are in the industry. Like she just radiates this light and it affects, it permeates the whole set, everybody, the crew, the actors that come in, you know, she does, she truly makes everybody better. She's the heartbeat, you know, she's the engine, but she's also the heartbeat. It's, it's, it's stunning to watch. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay.